Okay, so now we're getting down to kind of the, uh, one of the central issues of calculus, and that is the idea of a derivative. Now the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. So before we get to derivative, we need to understand what a tangent line is and how to find its slope. Okay, so here we go, looking at this graph, this crazy graph that has a little nice bounce in it. Uh, we're going to look at different points on the graph and estimate the slope of its tangent line just visually. So again, a tangent line is a line that would, in a way, touch the graph in one point, be tangent to it, meaning it's kind of going in the same direction as the graph at that point. So for example, at this top peak here, the tangent line would be horizontal because the graph itself is going that way. Imagine, say, you were in a car and you were driving along this road. The direction your car was facing would be the direction of the tangent line. So at the peak, you can see the car would be facing this way. The tangent line would be horizontal. Here, the, t the car would be facing somewhat like that. So my tangent line would look like that. Um, over here, my car would look like that. There, again, tangent line would look something like that. Right here at this bounce point, there really isn't a tangent line because well, I could be facing that way. Well, I could be facing that way or that way or that way because it's just this immediate turn. So who knows which way I'm facing. There is no tangent line there. But if there's a smooth curve or even a straight line, there's a tangent line, the direction that the graph is heading at that point. Okay, so let's just take a look at a few places. Let's say um, right here where x is negative 3. So we're going to look at x is negative 3. The graph right there uh, is uh, equal to that point. So that's right above negative 3. Now if I look at the tangent line, the tangent line seems to be heading about that direction. So here's my tangent line. Okay. Now to estimate the slope of the tangent line, I just need to look at another point and just kind of guesstimate what the slope is. So if I look over here, um, say I look at that point right there. Okay, on my tangent line, because I'm estimating the slope of the tangent line. So I'm looking at those two points. If I, if I look at it, I went right one and up one, two, maybe a little more than two, but I'm just going to call it two. So I'd say the slope of that tangent line is two, rise over run. Okay, so let's look at another point. Uh, let's pick an easier one. Uh, say zero. Well, my tangent line looks pretty flat, so I'm going to just draw a horizontal line. Well, this has a run of whatever, five, six, seven, doesn't matter, zero, uh, well, you'd say more than zero, sorry, one, two, a million, but it has no rise, so the slope of this one would be a slope of zero. Okay. Uh, again, let's look at uh, two here. So when x is two, that's about right there. Looking at my tangent line, it points down. Okay, let's pick another point on the tangent line, maybe right there. That looks like a nice point. And it looks like I went down one, two, three, and right one. So my rise is negative three, my run is one. So this slope, rise over run, is negative three. Again, slope is rise over run. So there you go, looking at different points, looking at the tangent line. Now the, in your uh, <coughs> assignment, you'll be asked to find the, or estimate the slope of the tangent line at a particular point. They'll just tell you the point. I picked a few at random. X is negative three, this one was X is zero, this one was um, X, is, uh, X is two, okay? But they'll give you that point. And then you just look at the graph and kind of estimate, draw your own tangent line, or just kind of just look and kind of guess. Anything r remotely close. I mean, if you would have had four instead of two, that's probably close enough. Now, if you would have come up with a negative number, that's definitely wrong. If you would have come up with some really small number like one over three or something like that, then you've done something wrong. But right now we're just estimating. Later we'll get more precise methods to get the exact number. Okay, <clears throat> so there we go. Next we're going to find out how to write the equation of this tangent line. Now we're going to find the, or approximate the uh, equation of the tangent line given a certain value. Okay, so here they've given me the function. 
I've graphed it here because I'm going to need to kind of visually estimate the slope. And uh, <clears throat> they've also given me the value. And it says A equals 2. They really mean X equals 2. It's kind of a peculiar way to write that. But that's what they mean. They want to know what the equation of the tangent line when X is 2. So the first thing I need to know, I need to know a point and a slope because that's how I write an equation of a line. Now, I can find the point just by plugging in 2. If I plug in 2, that's 4 minus 6, that's negative 2. So my point is x is 2, y is negative 2. Now I just need to estimate the slope. And by that, I'm just going to look at my graph. Okay, so x is 2 about there. Let me draw my tangent line like that. And let me estimate my slope. Well, it looks like, it looks kind of like, um, if I'm looking at this correctly, uh, over one, up one. Again, I'm just kind of estimating, really just ballpark figure. So that looks like a slope of one, rise of one, uh, um, run of one. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. My slope is one. So now my slope is one, and there's my point. And there's two ways you can do it now. You can use the point and slope formula, which says y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Or you can just go straight to the uh, slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, and sort of make it work. And this is what I mean. First of all, we know the slope is 1. So I know it's, the answer is going to say y equals 1x, or just x. I know that part. Now I just need to make the next part work for the point that I have. The point that I have says x is 2, and y is negative 2. So what do I need to do if x is 2, then in order for this to be true, I need to subtract 4. So all I'm going to put is minus 4. There is the equation of my line. Again, I just put the slope. Slope is 1. And then I make this number make it work for that point. That would be essentially the same as using that whole long um, point-slope formula. But this is much faster. So here I've estimated the equation of my tangent line. If I look at my graph, it's not totally right. Uh, according to my graph. This one looks like maybe it has a y-intercept of negative 5, not negative 4, but that's okay. And again, the slope probably isn't exactly 1, but that's okay too. It's just an estimate. We're just trying to get the idea of the slope of the tangent line right now. And that's it for, for the, the whole lesson. F approximate the slope and write an equation that approximates the actual equation of that tangent line.